gods of Norath, you found the accursed thing. Give it here. I'll show you how to use it. I suppose now you want some sort of reward, Hound of Leith Corius. You have pursued me all this way, slain my allies, but now you've found the one thing I've been searching months for, and the last thing needed for the war on Norath to truly begin. When I summoned that storm that killed your ship, I thought you were Vanarost. He commissioned that ship from the Nome. And I was certain he planned some sort of betrayal. Imagine my surprise when I found you at the helm instead. When you crawled to shore, it was all I could do not to kill you. You have more lives than any opponent I've ever known. But then, <laughs> it occurred to me that I could use your strength to my advantage. The Horn of Ill Omen had always eluded me. But perhaps, I thought, you might be able to find it. And if you failed, then you would no doubt die in the attempt. But you survived! Until now. And here we are again, face to face. <laughs> but hate wears many faces, and my true face is the one I wish you to see before you die. I did not lie to you before. My father and I have been searching for this horn for some time. It has the power to shatter planar barriers to tear down the walls between dimensions, and unlike you, I know how to use it. It had been decided the impending war was to be halted. Somehow, Inorak's army would be destroyed, or Norath would fall into an era of misery and suffering, a time foretold as the era of hate. My champion, I know you have suffered greatly, but know your cause is just. Without your efforts, Norath would be lost. I come to you from the Plain of Hate. There, Inarok holds many souls in his fiery cauldron. And through us, he feeds his army of hate. Find us, free us, and together we can still stop Inarok's invasion. A portal to his plane lies through the fires. But only hate itself is allowed to pass. It is up to you to find a way. We don't usually see strangers around here, at least not alive. You must be tougher than you look to have come this far, or just desperate perhaps? 
So, you're the silent type, I see. No matter. Silence is golden, they say. Speaking of gold, I can see that you don't like my prices. Fair enough. There are other deals we can make instead. What kind of deal, you ask? Simple fetch and carry, nothing more. You see, there are seven curiosities scattered about in the dungeons of Cathaoon. Mere trifles, really, but each one has sentimental value to me. For each one you bring me, I'll lower my prices. Bring me all seven, and there may be something else in it for you. Excellent. And for no charge, a bit of advice. Take care in these parts. They'd sooner kill a stranger as look at him. <laughs> 